Hello everyone. Welcome to everyone to the Proving Grounds. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yes, there have been a few tacos passed around. There have been a few shots passed around. But besides that, we are going to be having a scripting lab. This is not Bash 101 on its own. It's not CMD scripting. It's not even PowerShell. Welcome to hell. What it is, it's a combination of the three. If you do support or any kind of system admin work, just about anything in IT, and you ask a customer or a client or a coworker, how long has this PC been left on? A lot of times they say they turn it off at the end of the day and they turn it on in the morning. Some of them, they never turn it off. Some of them have no clue. It's okay. Uh, what we're going to cover here is in command prompt, in PowerShell, and in Bash. What kind of scripts we're going to use in order to be able to get answers. This could be considered like an extension of the system diagnostic stuff. It's okay. Uh, we're just going to concentrate on just this. And if I'm slurring, I apologize. But we will proceed. Uh, first things first. We're going to bring up the command prompt in administrator mode. So you see here it says administrator command prompt. Cool. Now, uh, one of the first things that I was Googling was coming up with uh, netstats.srv or netstats srv or netstats srv dot, which could just be a period that I'm just taking into consideration here. So let me see if I can put this in here. If not, I'll have to type it in. Oh, good. If we run it, we get net statistics workstation. This is, the syntax of this command is that. Uh, the short version is this is a fail. Fear not. I did find something that does work. And if you're familiar trying to get as much detail from the computer as possible, you're probably familiar with system info. Now, if we take that and we put that in here with a pipe, say find a system boot, we get something like this. Hit enter. Loading processor, the hotfix, and system boot time. There's the date. There's the time it actually went online. Yes, this computer's been on since 4.30 in the afternoon. And as you can see here, it is 10.06. So it's been on for a bit. Not too long. Now, there's another script that's similar. And it goes like this. And I believe this is like... How long this installation has been on? Let's see what this goes. With the original process, the original install date. That's pretty cool. Gives you some information here. Now, that is the whole purpose of this video. I need to find out how long the system's been on, how long an OS has been installed. A lot of times, I'm not going to get that answer with the person that's on the phone. So, this is my answer to that. Now, if we also do the same thing with PowerShell, also in administrator mode, we do have another option here. It doesn't give us the exact same thing, but it is helpful. So, and it starts with the get date command function, command list. I'm not exactly sure what the correct term is, but if we go in here and we put it in you see get date gcrim not sure what that means 132 the operating system that's like the last boot up time that's pretty much what we were doing up here to get a system boot time so if we hit enter this is a lot neater it breaks down how many days so we're still on the same day it's been up for five hours 5 hours, 36 minutes, 16 seconds, 16 milliseconds from the time that I actually hit enter. That clock is still ticking, and it's pretty cool. It gives me more information than I need, but it's good to have. Now, 
like I did say that we were also going to be dealing with Linux so I got team viewer here and I have ultramarine Linux here trying it out for the first time it looks kind of basic I changed the wallpaper to this because quite honestly as far as design concepts for wallpapers it's totally butt but it does seem to work it's fairly simple straightforward you got a lot of cool cool little things here you have access to your on-screen keyboard supposedly or at least it's in English your battery information Bluetooth power time the basics are over there you have what looks like a Windows menu and as you can see I got Firefox team viewer which I'm using the basic graphic setup is just LibreOffice draw and photos it's nothing fancy as far as office functions you have most of the LibreOffice um, stable here but I I'm leaning closer and closer to open office because I'm not sure if it has the same developers or some of the guys split from it but the apps there seem to be more in line with office 365 as far as um, functionality and compatibility which comes in handy so I'll probably be changing these later on now we go over to utilities and we can bring up our terminal. Now, how many terminals do I have? I only got one. Cool. Now, I do have a script for this. Same purpose. Find out how long a PC has been left on. Now, I haven't really had a chance to test any of these yet. So, we're going to start off with proc. Uh, not proc cat slash proc slash uptime let's see what we get hopefully it's going to be beneficial and useful uh, let's get a few things out of here you know what it's probably not going to work but you know what Yes, yeah, it's kind of noisy. Let's see what happens. Wow, it did give me something. It's a little difficult for me to actually interpret, but we can work with this. Let's see what else we have. Uptime command. It tells you how long the system's been running. Great. Now, if we try something like uptime. Come on. Let's work. Work with me here. Uptime. Space dash P. Let's see what we get. It's been up one hour and six minutes. That is good to know. Now, another variant. Uptime dash S. Let's see what this gives us. Whoa. Very scientific. It gives me a date and also the time. All right, very cool. I guess I could combine the two of them and do something like this. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, maybe it doesn't work. But we have some answers here. If we just do uptime by itself, let's see if it even works. Cool. This tells me how long it's been on. An hour, seven minutes. One user, the load average. Good to know. This gives me a numerical breakdown of date and time. And, or should I say, same as what it does here. This did not work as doing a combination. And this gives me human readable. So that's also good to know. Now, this covers answering that one question that's been bugging me that I wanted to actually find a script for. Now I found three different ways to get an answer. I hope this is useful for you. You might include it into a batch file or a shell script with a couple of other commands in order to be able to get yourself the answers that you want.
for now I'm wishing everybody a happy Cinco de Mayo uh, raise your glass drink to someone's good health drink to a good and productive future for yourself and your family I wish you all a good night and with that we are done